Olympic. Fast is kind of my thing. You don't eat quick at my place, my siblings will pick everything clean. <laughs> don't worry, your food's safe. Take your time. Oh, that was almost a personal best for me. Oh, get this. I've got a race lined up at another school. A coach from a big time athletic college is gonna be there. You know what that means? If I do well enough, Score scholarship. Right? Then I could keep doing track. I'd pretty much given up on going to college. We just don't have that kind of money. And I heard about the chance for a scholarship, so you can imagine why I jumped on it, right? I'm gonna win this thing and go to college. And maybe this will make my mom's life a little easier. It's a relief to hear you say that. I always think how different things would be if my dad were still alive. If he were here, my siblings wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they'd get to eat every day. Well, complaining won't accomplish anything. I'm just gonna have to try for that scholarship. on chicken is almost over and it's my turn to cook tonight i'll catch you later John? Oh, just when I was about to brush him. Wait, is that bad? Again? 
He likes to step out front every so often to get some sunlight. Whew, thank goodness. Well, I guess it's not a big deal if he's just basking in the sun. Korachan would never bite or bark at people anyway. I agree with you there. However, we still have the responsibility of being his owners. I don't want to restrict his freedom too much, but we still have to be mindful. I've been getting him to come back in whenever I notice he's gone out. Try to do the same if you ever happen to see him outside. <laughs> come on, Koromaru. It's time to come in. Responsibility, huh? Yeah, I guess that's true. He may be a Persona user, but he is still a dog. Shogi with the priest. Oh, I see, I see. Oh dear. I'm sorry, but do you mind if I rest here for a bit? Much obliged. Sorry to bother you. Down we go. Oof. <laughs> Years are catching up to me. <laughs> Do you live here? In that case, I have to give you my thanks. So thank you. Taking Koromaru in as your family. A lot's been going on ever since the priest's accident. To tell you the truth, someone else was willing to take Oromaru in. A sweet and pleasant young lady. Oromaru took quite a shine to her. Only... Well, he'd keep coming back to the shrine gate. sure what it was, but it seemed like he had some unfinished business. And after that, no one else was able to take him in. However, if he's here now, I take it he achieved his goal then. I see. <laughs> you did well, didn't you, boy? To be honest, I don't really understand any of this. But if you do, then Koromaru must be happy. I believe that Koromaru's bright enough to choose where he wants to be. And that means it must be his choice to be here with you. Be good to each other, will you? All right. 
I've rested plenty. We'll get out of your hair before it gets too late. Oh, see it easy. Ow! Ow! Very sweet of you. I'd like that very much. Oh! <laughs> You're in a good mood, Koro-chan. Did you go for a walk? <laughs> you helped? Ah, I see. I believe Koromaru-san wants to thank you. He says, let's do it again. <laughs> Should we head in? It's almost Koro-chan's dinner time. I'll be preparing your dinner today, Koromaro-san. I hope you look forward to it. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid.
away. Yeah. Nah. playing with that elementary school girl. She was very bright. Her face shone with the warm light of new life. And then there's me, cooped up in the hospital, struggling to breathe. I'm just a faint glimmer compared to her dazzling light. Misery is a harsh mistress. I feel as though I'm lying in an unyielding darkness. Do you understand how I feel? Liar. 
And if you're not lying, then you're just ignorant. <sighs> Any day now, I'm going to die. I have an incurable hereditary disease. Unless you're in my situation, you can't understand how I feel. But I prefer it that way. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. There are no platitudes to stave off death. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to depress you or anything. It's been quite a while since I spoke to someone my own age. It's only natural for those dwelling in the depths of darkness to yearn for the light. I'm glad we could meet, though. If there is a god, I'll be able to thank him soon enough. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create the soul of the sun, Arkana. However, I doubt we will ever meet again. This was just a chance encounter, nothing more. Goodbye. just don't know when to give up, do ya? I'll come back as many times as I need to. I don't give up that easy. And my answer will be the same every time. I'm not going back. Actually, we got a new team member. Did you know animals can use personas too? Wait, what'd you just say? He's a dog. He lost his master to the shadows six months ago. And he's incredibly loyal, too. Up until now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed. It's been rough for him, but he's making the most of it. Huh? Oh, it's Sonata-san. Huh? Who's he talking to? I wouldn't want to butt in. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. It'll be two years this October. How long are you gonna beat yourself up over that? That's why you're always behind the station. Even though you don't actually hang out with anyone there. Doesn't matter. It was my fault. Nothing's ever going to change that. What does it matter if I come to terms with it? Won't change the past. 
Lance isn't like it was with your sister. What happened to Miki was different. Shinji. It's over now. I just want to forget it ever happened. Two years ago? No way. It's him. So, his name is Shinji. with mom. She can't cook or clean or do anything on her own. So I'm gonna be there to help her. I think dad's gonna be okay by himself. He can get along fine without me. So, um, mom and I are gonna move away soon. <sighs> hey, even if I'm gone, We'll still be friends, right? Mm -hmm. Friends forever. Ever and ever and ever, okay? You can't forget about me. Never, ever, okay?
Yeah. here. Try and perk up for the boy, all right? I understand their reasoning. But if... if they really go through with this, if we lose that tree, it would be like losing our son all over again. Oh, we're fine. We're not fighting. I was just fussing. Sorry for making you worry. Apparently the rumor about cutting down the persimmon tree was true. So we went to the school together to say our goodbyes. Unfortunately, that just reminded my dear of the pain we felt the day our son died. See, dear? That's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, then what'll your admirers think? Right? Oh my, don't make fun of this wrinkled old lady. Again anytime, all right? My wife would always be happy to see such a handsome young man. Here, take this for when you get hungry.
did you finish reading the final volume? You looked really focused when you were reading. I can definitely relate. When I got to the end, I was so absorbed that I almost forgot to breathe. What an amazing series! I didn't notice at first, but at some point I could suddenly just make sense of the complex setting. Isn't it weird how that works? Right! If it was just straight exposition, it would be exhausting trying to keep track of everything. Being able to tie the world building into the narrative really shows how skilled the author is. I wish I could communicate as well as the author does in this book. Remember when I told you how I recommended a book to a classmate, but she turned me down? Knowing what to say is important, but how you say it is difficult too. Before I could tell her how fascinating the story is, I was telling her how many volumes it was and that it's written by a famous author. I don't think that kind of information is going to persuade someone to read. Thanks. Maybe I'll try talking to her again. I think I'll have a lot of good things to say about this book now. It always feels nice when someone shows an interest in something you like. Even just sharing our opinions like this is so refreshing. That's why I really want to work on how I communicate things. Because if I do that, then maybe I'll get more fun moments like this. Look at the time. We should probably call it a night. Um... I have some other books I can recommend, if you'd like. Thank you. I hope you'll like those too. Well then, good night! Suggestion. So dance, if you want to go ahead, free to do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm not in my biz, so mind your own biz, whatever like is. By the way.
sorry I kept you waiting. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I guess I need to train more. <sighs> Whew. It's going. I'm super thirsty. Oh, that was great. I always say food tastes better with a buddy. I used to come here all the time with my teammates, but... I'm not the only one who says that anymore. Anyway, they wouldn't come now even if I invited them. I don't really get along with people who don't take the sport seriously. They even started training at different times. Nothing's organized anymore. I used to love it there, you know. I spent all my time on the track, practicing and training. We all loved track and had so much fun together. But then... Ah, never mind. It doesn't matter. We're too different, them and me. I'm going to reach heights they never will. I have to. Conversation. I think I'll do lunges the whole way home. You keep at it too. No slowing down.
Damn it. I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? How can I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. When people speak to you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <sighs> oh, damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Um, hey there. Uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. I'm going to, uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Oh, humor. Uh, humor. Y you know the beef bowl place? Yeah. Hey, m maybe we could meet up there? Huh? Me get it? Am I the chairman? Screw this.
you worry. She's, she's crying because she's happy. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? Ah, don't pretend it's just us. You don't have to be so modest. You're a samurai. A modern-day samurai. And before you know it, you'll graduate and step boldly into adulthood. Don't forget about us, you hear? Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. See you again soon. I see you back.